Just like fighter jets, armed with air-to-air -air missiles are crucial for aerial combat, anti-ship missiles are critical for dominating the oceans. On August 15, 2021, the U.S. Navy executed sinking exercise Sink -X, off Hawaii as part of the large-scale exercise 2021. USS Ingram, the last Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate, was hit by various weapons and sunk. The drill involved the use of several anti-ship missiles that included naval strike missiles NSM, launched from the Marine Corps' new unmanned ground-based launcher vehicles and potentially AGM-84 harpoons launched from P-8s were also involved. It's evident that anti-ship capabilities are being validated as the U.S. faces a growing Chinese Navy and resurgent Russian naval fleet. In this video, Defense Updates lists American anti-ship missiles that the U.S. could deploy to pummel Chinese and Russian warships. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The AGM-84 HK-SLAM-ER standoff land attack missile expanded response is an advanced standoff precision-guided air-launched cruise missile produced by Boeing Defense space and security for the United States Armed Forces and their allies. Developed from the AGM-84E SLAM standoff land attack missile, which is itself developed by Boeing Integrated Defense Systems from the McDonnell Douglas Harpoon anti-ship missile, the SLAM-ER is capable of attacking land and sea targets at a range of 270 kilometers or 167 miles. The SLAM-ER relies on the Global Positioning System GPS, and infrared imaging for its navigation and control, and it can strike both moving and stationary targets. The SLAM-ER can be remotely controlled while in flight, and it can be redirected to another target after launch if the original target has already been destroyed or is no longer considered to be dangerous. The SLAM-ER is a very accurate weapon and has one of the best circular error probable CEP of any missile used by the U.S. Navy. Harpoon is an over-the-horizon anti-ship missile manufactured by Boeing Defense, Space and Security. Initially developed in the 1970s, it's seen many upgrades over the years. The Harpoon Block II was developed to offer an expanded engagement envelope, enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures, and improved targeting. The Block II missile provides the Harpoon with a literal water anti-ship capability. The major system components of the Harpoon Block II missile include a booster, warhead, guidance, and command system. Air-launched Harpoon weighs in at 1,523 pounds or 691 kilograms and has a length of 12.6 feet or 3.8 miles. It has the capability to reach targets at a maximum distance of 80 miles or 130 kilometers. Though the missile has a subsonic speed of Mach 0.7, it's important to note that it is a sea skimming missile, which makes it hard to detect and engage. The 500 pound penetration high explosive blast warhead provides the missile with enough firepower to cripple a large surface combatant. The AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile is a stealthy and highly precise surface-skimming cruise missile with a range of 230 miles or 370 kilometers. 
AGM-158C was developed as an anti-ship variant and is named LRASM by the US Navy. The missile is subsonic, but since it's LO, low observable, the enemy warship will not see it coming till it's very close. The missile uses an inertial and jam-resistant GPS navigation system for the initial phase of the journey, a two-way data link is present for mid-course guidance, and a radio frequency and infrared sensor is activated in the terminal phase. LRASM also deploys electronic counter-countermeasures ECCM, to overcome the enemy's countermeasures. The missile can be deployed in swarm mode, which will enable it to saturate enemy defenses. The Block 5A variant of Tomahawk is called Maritime Strike. It has a new seeker capable of hitting a moving target, so it could be used to target a rival's surface combatants. The target information in the variant could be updated in flight. The warhead is geared towards destroying enemy warships. Block 5 adds major upgrades to the missile's communication and navigation systems. This will make it hard for the enemy to jam the missile with electronic countermeasures. This will mean that more missiles will be able to navigate unhindered to the target and hit them. The missile will see an improved stealth characteristic, though the exact nature of which is classified. Since the missile's external contour will remain the same, it's likely that the missile will see the use of RAM or radar absorbing material. It will provide the US Navy with a long range option since the missile may be able to strike at more than 1,000 miles or about 1,600 kilometers. Naval Strike Missile or NSM is the upgrade of Kongsberg's Penguin short to medium range anti ship guided missile. The missile has a range of 100 miles or 185 kilometers. NSM is capable of high subsonic speeds. It has sea skim mode by which it travels very close to the surface, making it hard to detect and intercept. It's also designed to maneuver to avoid enemy defenses. It's equipped with 276 pounds or 125 kilogram multi purpose blast fragmentation warhead. NSM features an imaging IR seeker which is complemented by inertial GPS navigation. The missile also has a built-in database of representative ship types to distinguish between intended targets and other objects. Importantly, it can be used as an anti-ship missile for taking out land targets. The SM-6 missile is manufactured by Raytheon and is being produced since 2009. It was developed by leveraging components from existing weapons. It uses the airframe of the SM-2ER Block 4 RIM 156A missile and an enlarged version of active radar homing seeker from the AIM-120C AMRAM. The missile may be employed in a number of modes that include inertial guidance to target with terminal acquisition using active radar seeker semi-active radar homing throughout the flight or an over-the-horizon hit with cooperative engagement capability. Cooperative engagement capability enables the missile to get target data from other platforms like fighter jet or satellites. SM-6 has a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers and a maximum speed of Mach 3.5. It carries a 140-pound or 64-kilogram blast fragmentation warhead.